Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Milwaukee Remote Series. And we start off this episode with a game against Leicester City, away from home at King Power Stadium. And yeah, let's jump right into the ninth minute as Leicester has an attack here and... Let's go. Yep. They score. Somehow. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of a weird finish, but it went in. Nothing you can do right there. Now Benze with a nice shot, even though it's pretty easily saved, I would say. And there yeah, now some more problems in the defense and just very quickly it's 2-0. After almost 30 minutes played. And yeah, actually we managed to strike right back with Fuller here who plays it to Benzia and Benzia cuts the lead to 2-1 after some nice work from Fuller and yeah but after that the game was pretty much dead I mean you would think that after three goals in half an hour this game would be crazy there we should have gotten a penalty I think but no it was really a terrible game after that both teams tried to do stuff or to do something offensively but no one could really get through. And yeah, as you may have seen, uh, Marzouk actually had a huge chance to level this game. But in the end, we lose our first game of the season. Yeah, it's been quite a few games. I'm not positive how many. But we were the last team that was unbeaten. And yeah, Leicester. Leicester, kind of like the team that always fucks us up pretty much. Like last year in the FA Cup, where they've won very luckily. But yeah, now it's the scout report, the newest one. And this Dominic Anderson guy looks pretty interesting, if you ask me. Uh, 78 minimum potential and something in the 90s maximum potential. And yeah, there I tried to sweet talk Levin Nali. So he's not homesick anymore, but that didn't work apparently. And yeah, now we have a home game against another London team in Fulham and Fulham is actually first in the league right now so winning against him would be huge just to close the gap between them and maybe close the gap between Norwich and yeah Benzia hits a beautiful free kick in the seventh minute and yeah Benzia is proving to uh, that he's quite good at free kicks I think that's his second one of the season and yeah, you can see right there he just hit that perfectly and that's actually his seventh goal of this season and this game also really wasn't that great not that many chances like that's something I have to show you as a chance pretty much in the first half for Fulham but now we jump into the 72nd minute it's Fulham at the ball here and Castellato actually intercepts the ball but then loses it and then again a bullshit glitch save from David Ford which goes into the back of the net makes it one all. I don't know this this glitch or I don't know this weird save animation already fucked us in the Sunderland Capital One Cup game and now it fucked us again. And now look at that, Castellato. What are you doing? I, I was spamming circle or oh, the shoot button. And yeah, I raised a little bit, that's why I pressed pause. And somehow Castellato didn't feel like shooting. So yeah, we draw this game. Unfortunately. And yeah, Jimmy Abdu actually tells us he wants to uh, be transferred in January. And Kevin Abuguma, finally a player who actually likes me. I mean, everybody just hates me like Levin Tsunali and Jimmy Abdu. But yeah, we have the new scouting report. Castelletto went up plus two. Jordan I uh, is already worth over one million. So is uh, Marzouk and Benzia, who we all bought for under one million. So that's very good to see obviously and yeah we scroll through Sammy Ince went up plus two Jack McNulty went up plus two these are our youth our players from the youth squad who we got to the first team this season and yeah Jimmy up two went minus one his morale is bad but quite frankly we don't really need him and there the agent of Levin and Snally actually tells that he's not homesick at all even though he, he, he told us, Asunali personally told us he's homesick, but maybe that uh, stops all this madness with the homesickness. Well, obviously it doesn't. He's still homesick, and that is obviously a very bad, very 
very bad side, obviously. And now with Gamer against Preston, who have just been promoted this season to the championship. And yeah, we definitely should win this game. And not draw again. And yeah, Mazuk has a nice chance here, but... And... Why, why do I say but? He beautifully finishes that. Uh, I just expected him to miss there, I don't know why. And... Yeah. 1-0 to Preston there, again a nice attack. And the goalie kind of comes out, then retreats back, and Marzouk with a terrible finish. And yeah, we actually had a, no a lot of nice attacks going, like you see, in the 90th minute. But Donza, uh, bad finishing by me, definitely should have come closer to the goal. And yeah, Preston actually had, a, had, actually had some chances of their own, like you saw there. I don't know how he missed that. And yeah, now Jordan Ibe shows some of his dribbling skills. Nice shot fake there. And again, that's probably me finishing too early. Now Donza plays it to Benzia. And Benzia with a nice shot just narrowly misses wide. And they're just before half time. Preston actually have a chance. As they pass around the ball in the box. But Ford with a beautiful save. And now... This is very hard to explain. <laughs> I went through my files. And yeah, I posted there. I had to stop this recording and start another recording for the next part, pretty much. And I just can't find that part. So I'm gonna tell you what happened. Preston actually leveled the game at some point at one apiece. And I don't remember who, but somebody uh, scored for us the 2-1, to one, like two seconds before the 90th minute. So unfortunately I couldn't uh, show you that, which is very like dumb, but I don't know. I don't know how that could happen. Maybe I didn't press the record button or I accidentally deleted the file but yeah we won that game fortunately and yeah that's that we are now into a game against Brighton Herb Albin as, is, as you can see Donza picks up a goal here to make it 1-0 and that was actually Donza's fifth goal of the season and now Benzia with a goal of his own to make it 2-0 pretty, pretty early actually not even 30 minutes in now Brighton Brighton actually with a chance of their own, but Ford with a beautiful save from a shot that's not been hit too hard. And now again, beautiful save by Ford as he keeps the clean sheet so far. And now Benzia, that has to be one of the worst finishes I've seen of him. Like, Benzia sometimes finishing is like beautiful and sometimes it's like that. And yeah, again, a very well executed uh, attack there and then Donza unfortunately has to sc uh, score such an ugly goal after his first shot didn't, w didn't go in and yeah Brighton though they didn't give up as they scored the 3-1 to there and now all they was trying at this point was uh, the long ball and now we were on a counter attack Fuller to Benzia to Donza one timer to Fuller and Fuller back to Benzia and Benzia back to Fuller and now it it was a pretty cheap like tramp goal but I just wanted to execute uh, this uh, counter attack because it was so perfect up to this point and yeah there was a nice another save nice save for David Ford he actually made a couple of them and we also had some more chances as Benzia shows off some of his dribbling skills and I don't know the keeper didn't even make a save he the ball just hit him in the head but yeah, we win this game 4-1. There have actually been a lot more chances for each side. But in the end, it's not really worth showing to you, is it? Because um, the game was already decided. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Again, I'm sorry for the Preston game. I really have no idea how that could happen. But anyways, I hope you guys still enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Mirror Career Mode series. And tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.